Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. This week, we head off to the head offices of Service Credit Union in Edmonton, Alberta, to find out how an old energy hog of a building can learn some new tricks. In 2010, Service Credit Union had a choice, build new or buy and renovate an old building. To save time, Service bought the old Dell Call Center in Edmonton, Alberta, and hired local architects Manask Isaac to renovate the energy hog of a building into something usable. The Service project achieved amazing results for energy use and usability. Manask Isaac calls the process reimagine, and it applies the three R's to Western Canada's stock of old, inefficient office and commercial buildings. The idea is to really reconsider how people redevelop buildings. So instead of just doing one thing piecemeal at a time, it's to look at all the building systems holistically in terms of its building insulation and its uh, exterior skin, its mechanical and electrical systems, its interior environment, its energy performance, and really try to make really smart decisions of where to spend the money to make those more effective, more efficient, and uh, better for the long-term operation of our clients. When done properly, this holistic approach can save time, energy, and money. Well, once we uh, were done completing the exterior and interior work at Sur Service Corporate Centre, we were able to reduce approximately 70% of natural gas use over its use as uh, a call centre, and we reduced its electricity use by about 43% um, from before. And that's significant just by th rethinking its envelope, its building systems, and, and even cutting a hole in the top of this building to let natural light in. That's worth underlining. This reimagined renovation reduced heating energy use by 70%. This building wasn't very old. It was actually a Dell call center that had been abandoned. But it was a cookie-cutter concrete tip-up design, originally designed for the climate of Oklahoma. Bringing it up to snuff for Edmonton's climate meant new insulation, new cladding, and new windows. Literally a new skin for the entire building envelope. So what you have uh, behind me here are some sunshades, and they are an instrumental part of the building's uh, south face, where the sunshades block any... Um, solar gain we have in the summertime because the louvers of these sunshades are, are designed at a specific angle to let in winter light to but to block out uh, the summer light so that building doesn't overheat. So what we have is actually a passive system that helps the cooling um, load of the building. It, it makes sure the air conditioning or the ventilation doesn't go on to you know, basically mechanically cool the space. Um, above the sunshades, it's a little hard to see as an operable window, and I think that's an extremely important part of the building's uh, systems in that it gives occupants control over their space. And we find that when you give people that control over their space, they have a better opportunity to temper their space using passive means. So usually getting uh, a breeze going in their space will stop them from cranking up the air conditioning and that that to us is an important part again of, of thinking holistically of how building systems work and how to get the most energy savings out of them. Windows that open, passive cooling, give people control over their space, wow those are novel concepts in an office building. Gail Stepanek Kaber is the Chief Brand and Corporate Social Responsibility Officer with Service and she's seen firsthand what this new building has done. So when we moved in again we wanted to house all 450 admin employees but it was creating spaces and a larger space for them to congregate in the sense of community. So we wanted um, the, the staircase that walks you know, through up to the clear story, we wanted that to be a pivotal center point to allow people access not only the sides of the building, but down the center of the building to create that feeling of family and community. We're very much a family brand, we're member owned, we're a credit union, and we wanted to ensure that our employees felt that they had spaces that felt like community. So their own little kitchens, their own little sort of dining areas, Areas are throughout the building. Clear story. That was a word I hadn't heard before, but it's pretty cool. Manaska Isaac convinced service to punch a big hole into their roof and put a bunch of vertical windows in to let more natural light into the heart of the building. 
I asked Gail what her favorite part of the reimagined building is. Well, I love coming to work out here in the morning. We have a little gym that uh, it, it has a threshold of probably about 10 to 15 people and it gets well used. I also like the fact that there's this atrium community space. And the other thing that I love is that I can open the window. And oh. there's a little electronic button feature where you can open up the window and they'll automatically close at five o'clock. How many office workers have wanted to open their windows? There's one more funny little story. Because of the retrofit, the building uses so much less natural gas and has such a small and quiet HVAC system that they had to add white noise. Listen carefully and you can hear it. I don't know if you could hear what I'm hearing, um, but basically the consequence of designing very efficient mechanical buildings or mechanically ventilated buildings is we no, lo no longer have the big rush of air coming through ducts and creating sort of the white noise that mask uh, conversations and, and uh, noise that happen in an open office environment like this. So service uh, has a whole bunch of people working in these workstations and have had to add uh, white noise generators in order to simulate a mechanical white noise sound that we get in most buildings that haven't been really quite designed for this sort of purpose. Companies are sometimes too quick to tear down and build new. Service was able to reimagine their workspace, save 70% on energy, save time, save resources, and build a showpiece of a building that can adapt to their needs by working with a progressive architect. To learn more about Reimagine and to see renderings of other buildings as well as our photos, blog, and podcast, go to greenenergyfutures.ca. We'd love to hear from you. Check out our Facebook page or send us a tweet or email. Thanks for watching. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.